Oh, starting a quick little bit, kind of everyday pasta thing. Sausage, cream, pasta. 15 minutes to joy. So I've already got some uh, water boiling over here. And uh, gonna add a little bit of salt. Uh, these noodles were from St. Louis. My brother bought them. They, were, they seem to be a uh, localized uh, shop product down there that they made. Uh, somewhat like cavatelli. Mm, like I said, about a 10 minute cook. It says 7 minutes on the box, but it doesn't go that way. So, uh, that's 100 grams of pasta. And a gram of pasta. When you dump your pasta in, this is a pro tip, <laughs> is you always want to stir it right when it gets in so it's not attaching to each other. It'll attach right away and then it's hard to stir it out later. So really the stirring is about keeping it individual pastas and it'll strain right. So there we got it started. And I have a pan over here. Uh, little eight inch saute pan. I've put in a little bit of olive oil. Um, I have some sausage that I browned off the other day and a little bit of cream. Off. And I like to, when I brown it off, to kind of break it into little chunks. It's kind of reformed here. And then uh, I used a little bit of this in some pizza. Use this in some pasta. Uh, you could make a, a grinder, an Italian sandwich with it. Um, so it's something that could serve you for several days, or if you, depending on your size of your family, use it in a singular meal. But uh, So what we're going to do is just add a little bit of cream to this, and it's just going to be kind of a creamy sausage. Now, when I was in Italy... When, or in Italy, uh, I visit annually. Uh, you can get a panna or a cream that's already thickened, and you can also get the kind of cream that we have here. So, what I use for my simple kind of cream sauce, Alfredo sauce sort of thing, just a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So, you have right here. 50 calories per tablespoon. So you're, we're going to have a, a hundred calories here. Whoa. Let's turn this down. Yeah. That's just the, the fat kind of amalgamating. You have a, a new pan, so this pan is, I haven't used before. I bought this set of, um, you see that Cuisinart pans. They're stainless steel on the outside and the inside and then aluminum all around in the core. So, turn that down a little bit. Whoa, kind of hyper. So, a couple of tablespoons. One, two. And you see it's real liquidy, so what we're gonna wanna do is just kinda cook off the liquid at a low temperature um, and then just shut it off you could add see that's pretty good really quick it's kind of already thickened it wasn't a lot um, we're gonna add a little a bit of uh, red pepper to uh, enhance the flake so here is our red pepper now I'm gonna actually pull this off could add a little bit of water. I see with just about every Italian video that I see that people are adding water from the from the pasta cooking. I forgot to put the timer on this, so I'm guessing I'm about five minutes in. I'll go another five. I'll go another five and start it and taste it at five. So 100 grams of pasta, about a quarter pound, 
of sausage, about two tablespoons, and some hot pepper, and we have a tasty 15 minute meal. Tasty 15 minute meal. Of course, you know, pasta is a lot of carbohydrates, so you're gonna wanna check that. Um, you're looking at probably at 100 grams, maybe 20% of your daily allowance. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water over here. So what I'm gonna do is when we get this done, drain this and then throw it in here, toss it together and then plate it. I'm gonna put a little Parmigiano, 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 where you at? Here's some Parmigiano, Parmigiano. I'm gonna use all of that Parmesan. Parmigiano. We got the Parmigiano right here. The plate, pasta cooking, and the snashage with a little cream sauce. So let's transfer over just a little bit of water to reinvigorate this here. So what we'll do is, uh, once we go to drain, we'll turn this back on and get it fired back up. Throw the pasta in there, toss it together, toss it in the plate, and it'll be ready to go. Ready to go. Love you, dinky doggy. He liked the food. Okay, about 144 left. Still cruising. Make sure they're not sticking. Those are kind of separating, turning translucent. I may need another minute. I don't know how long it took me to get this other stuff started. Just gonna have another spoonful. Another spoonful. So. We'll taste. Ooh. Mm. I'd say there's at least two minutes left. At least two minutes. I love you, my dinky dee dee. I love you, dinky dee dee. A few seconds left here. I could taste them a, a little bit, but I'm just gonna get a little cooking going down over here. I think part of the idea is you just kind of will add some moisture over here with your water. We're ready to go. So turn this off. I'm going to turn this back burner on so it'll get nice and hot. And this is our pasta ready to go. 100 grams. I used uh, about a quart of water. We'll probably use a little more water. You can see the starch in there. You can see a little bit of pepper from transferring the uh, spoon back and forth, the wooden spoon. So. Empty. My doggy likes some pasta. So that's just starting to crackle a little bit. Kind of stir it around a little bit. Get it kind of combined. You know, it's, it's just kind of cooking a little bit still, adding a little bit of moisture. A couple of minutes here. And. Oh, shit. Good consistency. We're 
We're just gonna get a little bit more of this snashage out. And she be ready to go. How's that look? Sausage and cream pasta, a little hot sauce. Woo! And that's it. A little bit of pasta, 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 pasta. 15 minutes.